tell you guys short workouts matter. I'm 49. I, I eat pizza. Um, <laughs> you know, they work. It works if you have an active lifestyle. So this is what we're going to do today. Instead of having a chat about stuff, I'm going to talk to you while we work out and it'll be fun. So I'm going to use eight pound weights and uh, five pound weights for this. You pick uh, whatever's right for you and I'll just kind of describe it as we go along. If you want to take a second to grab some weights. And this is going to be a way to get in a total body resistance workout on a day you're super, super busy, um, just like I am today. Okay, ready? So here we go. So we're going to take it slow so that our first move acts as a warm up as well. So we're going to squat down. As we squat down, you're bringing the hips back and you're working to keep the chest forward. Just hold this position here. This is part of the warm up. This is kind of like a modified chair pose from yoga. And you'll feel these postural muscles start to work. Your abs are really deep. So you're just holding here with your weights and we're gonna just hold eight, seven, six. You'll feel your heart rate start to come up. This is why it's like a warm up. Isometric contractions, four, three, two. Come up, do a bicep curl. Hold here. Feel how your heart rate's up already? So without running, without anything, just using isometric contraction and holding, we can get a decent warm up in. And why do we want to warm up? Because it coats your joints with synovial fluid. Synovial fluid is what protects them and makes them move smoothly. And up. We're going to do two more slow like this to act like our warm up. So it's just about 15 seconds holding here. I'm getting a chance to work the lats in my back, holding these weights up, the triceps, isometric contraction, holding my elbows straight. My abdominals are deep. Work for the postural muscles and back. You feel your quads like crazy. Give your glutes a little squeeze. Come on up. Feel that heart rate, right? Shocking, yes? And hold right here. Breathe. Keeping it up, don't squinch the back of your neck. Always keeping the back of the neck long. You're looking like diagonally toward the floor in front of you. Okay, now, that's kind of our little mini warm up. We're gonna move this now. Inhale, exhale, two. We're gonna do 15, three. So we're looking for a medium heavy weight. A medium heavy weight is one that you can do eh, 15 repetitions with, 15 to 20. Right? A heavy weight is, is challenging at 8 to 10. I've totally lost count at this point. So no, we were aiming for 15, but I'm blabbering at you, and now I'm just going to have to do it by how I feel. <laughs> Let's say that's it. Okay. Ready? Here's our second exercise right here. So we're going to take a plie, open out to here. Now, if you have any shoulder issues at all, you're going to just keep it right here and press straight up. Keep your palms facing each other. Otherwise, you're here. Plie down, press up. Inhale, exhale, two. So with a plie, we're keeping the spine straight. So now I'm working those inner thigh muscles and the external rotators of the glutes. So you're pressing the knees back as you go down. Drive the heels down into the floor as you come up to activate the inner thighs. Total body moves here. Whew, breathe. Let's go seven more. Inhale, exhale, six. We were aiming for 15, but I can't keep track right now. I'm talking to you. Five, four. Here we go, three, two, and one. Now what has happened here is you've worked your legs evenly, you've worked your arms evenly in those two moves, and you've done core stability work and work for the postural muscles in your back. Pretty good, right? Second set, let's do it again. Here we go, hi, it's so nice to see you guys. Ready, so remember we have that squat and we're trying to keep the chest up as we go back and we're using our lats and our triceps taking the arms behind us. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Connect that breath. Inhale and exhale. That's three. Exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Six. So if your day is busy and all you have time for is these two moves at your desk, think about it. You do not have to change clothes. <laughs> you can just keep weights at your desk and do this. You're not turning into a big sweaty mess. It's kind of the same as walking across a parking lot. Hi everyone, walking across a parking lot on a hot day is what I mean. And one more and rest, okay? So we really feel that bicep, tricep, postural muscles in the back, quads, hamstrings, glutes. Here we go. External rotators of the leg work as you drop down and you push the knees back, drive the heels down, and we're getting the inner thighs has we get the deltoids, pressing the arms up overhead. Inhale and exhale. Remember, if you have shoulder issues, use a lighter weight. Turn the palms toward each other and keep them right in front of you. That will help a lot. And work only in a range of motion that works for you. 
Here we go, five. Inhale, exhale, six. Inhale, exhale, seven. Exhale, eight. Exhale, nine. 10, almost there. Exhale, 11. Exhale, 12. Exhale, 13. Two more, 14. One more, 15, and rest. Now, if you want, you can do a third round of that. But because I'm in a big hurry and I have a client in four minutes, everything's pushed up today. I'm gonna show you a last move you can do. Okay. It's very hard to get your, the muscles in your upper back and in your back at home. We use bands, we use things like that, but here's a great free weight exercise. Also, of course, stability work and strengthening the legs. You'll get your heart rate up with this as well. So a deep, deep lunge. So take that back leg out. You're gonna turn the back foot out. You're gonna bring your chest all the way down. Right here is work. You are gonna feel this glute in that standing leg. Right here, we're opening the arms out to this side. You're trying not to hit your chair. Now you see, my hands are not here at the level of my shoulder. They're back towards my rib cage. You want to feel the muscles between your shoulder blades and not this upper trapezius. You don't want that. Between the shoulder blades, rear deltoids, the back of the shoulder, that cut in the arm. Wow, this is good light. <laughs> I highly recommend setting yourself up in a place with good light and putting a mirror. <laughs> it's motivating <laughs> when you see your own muscles. Your muscles are your own power. Such a good thing. Right? And rest. I hope that was 10. We're doing 10 and 10. Lunge back. You're going to feel this muscle working, that big glute, right away. Your quad, everything. This knee stability work. Inhale, exhale. Two. So try not to look at me. Try to look at the floor. Three, four. If you're doing this with me, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Nine, 10. Rest. You can do one more set of that if you want. Now that is a pure medium weight, so I did 20 repetitions, medium, medium heavy for me. Make sure you're not feeling that in here. And if you want, one last thing you can do, this is abdominal core stability work. Give yourself a little punch forward. Ah, three, inhale, exhale, four. While you're balancing, right? Five, good, switch. We don't think of this as stomach flattening work, but it really is. You're getting that transverse abdominus activated. That's pulling in your abdominals and